All the gingery laid guys can eat their hearts out. Jokes aside, in this video I will be casting a lathe bed using the Lost Foam method. I'm hoping to get the new workshop in a usable state this year, so I decided to start making some machinery for the workshop. New machines are quite expensive, and the used ones usually are older than me and are very worn out. That gives me an excuse to try and make them myself. In my mind the lathe was the most obvious to start with because having a lathe should come in handy whilst making the other machines. For the pattern I'm using extruded polystyrene that can be easily machined on the CNC. I used a sort of tongue and groove joints to ease the assembly and tacked everything together with hot glue. This is the point where I start to realize the large scale of this casting. For the mold I'm using fine sand mixed with sodium silicate. The ratio is 80 grams of sodium silicate per kilogram of sand. The benefit of using sodium silicate is once you introduce CO2 gas it hardens immediately. The mold was moved over to the shed where the furnace is. There I added risers, a pouring basin and everything was kept in place using loose sand. With the mold ready I needed to melt as much aluminum I could fit in the crucible. At this point I'm starting to realize that this ingot would overfill the crucible.
so I took a small ringgit and hoped that I had enough molten aluminum to fill the mold. I didn't get a submersible pyrometer that allows me to measure the temperature of the molten aluminum more precisely. When pouring, the temperature was 780 degrees Celsius. The aluminum did seem to be a bit too hot, but at the end you'll see that it was just hot enough. I was a bit concerned that I didn't have enough aluminum, seeing that the risers barely filled, but there was nothing left to do as to let it cool down overnight and crack open the mold the next morning. As I was breaking up the mold, I was relieved to see that all the pattern was filled in. After cleaning off all the sand and cutting off the risers, I could take a closer look at the casting. There are a couple of spots where the sand wasn't compacted enough and flashing formed. 
there are some minor shrinking defects but in the furthest corners of the casting you can see that the aluminum was just barely hot enough to fill the whole mold. In the end I just wanted to add that the whole casting including the risers weighed 69 kilograms. After cutting the risers off the casting weighs 56 kilograms. The overall length of the foam pattern was 1 meter and 81 centimeters and the casting is 1 meter and 79 centimeters. So the shrinkage is 2 centimeters. Overall I'm satisfied how the casting came out. The surfaces are quite flat, there are no bows and twists in the casting. It rings like a bell so I know it's solid. Next I need to figure out how to make all the surfaces flat and parallel. This casting is too big for my CNC so I need to figure out some kind of surfacing jig or find someone with a mill big enough to surface this casting. But for now this will be the end of the first part of the lathe build. Hope you enjoyed the video and you'll see me on the next one.